We're live at Threat Stadium here in New York, New York, the home of the Tyrants, who would like to remind you that the game will begin after the mandatory half an hour clapping is over. The first one to stop clapping will be killed. Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The Philadelphia Eagles go up against the New York Tyrants. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> It's time to tune in, turn on, and drop what you're doing, because NFL Game Day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. So what's the game plan for the home team today, Bricks? Uh, I think they got to keep it simple. A little cough syrup, maybe smoke a little untidy pod pregame so they can keep their heads in the game. I mean, literally. You don't want to get decapitated on the opening kickoff. I say go after the refs early and often. No mercy. the way to get the sticks moving he picks up five yards on that play second down and five ouch what is this 80s wrestling third down and five And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Boom! And it's first and ten. the pass but then a slap in the face by the defense oh that's me in the hotel bar every night hey your opening line needs work why really what's a pretty girl like you doing here all by yourself are you a hooker well it's a fair question caught for the first down And it's first and ten. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And so at the end of the first quarter, we've got a scoreless game. for a first down. And it's first and ten. Call man about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. Now. 
straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. He broke free and has open field in front of him. They might catch him. Oh, you fat little Milton. First and ten. Oh, crash, bang, pow! Huh? Oh, you ordering Chinese food again, Grim? Huh? Hey, give me the bang, pow chicken. That stuff is good. And don't forget my fucking egg rolls this time. First and eight to go. Until he's a total work speed and he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. If you think his dancing is bad, you should have been here in the old days. He used to mark their territory the old-fashioned way. But they agreed to dial it down to uh, interpretive dance. I took an interpretive dance class with a werewolf punch, Ben. He damn near clawed my face off. That was before the class even started. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It's good. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice grin. It'll be fun to gamble with my own teeth! <laughs> Amidst some tiger blood, shark blood, and internet comments, Roid Rage brings out the worst in anyone! <laughs> Nicely done for a first down! They stump the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work breaks. He is rolling thunder and pouring pain. It's a zap attack. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was on to the races. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. A nice run there for eight yards. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where are we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? Uh, I'm going to go to a strip tease show. Where are we going? Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit.
The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. of the play. You've got to catch that. Second down and ten. And he picks up four on that pass and catch. Third down and six. Hey guys, this isn't funny. I swear to drunk, I'm not God, but seriously, stay in drugs, eat school, don't do vegetables. Oh, with the punishing hit. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he... Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. And he gets a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Second and three. of about three on that play. Third down and a pussy here. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. And that's some good old-fashioned downhill running as he picks up nine yards on the play. Quarter three comes to an end, but this game is far from over and will be decided in the final quarter. And that'll bring up second and one. Touchdown! point attempt straight through the uprights the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score hey speak for yourself I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring First and ten. Don't worry, hit me shot. Oh, welcome to Fumbletown, USA. Population, this guy. Well, he should be more careful when he hurdles. He's at the ten. He did it. He scores. And with that amazing run, he bursts through the end zone for six. And they line up for the extra point. The 
kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just kidneys. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. Oh, what a sack there. I heard this guy likes to play with soft balls. He's going to play with crushed balls from here on out. Second down and a lot. Bricks, they just made up a whole lot of field in a hurry with that pass play. And I just made up a new name. Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. Third down and three. No, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Catch the ball, asshole! And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Ben, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no hope. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. And it's first and ten. The defense called a right speed dirty trick. Be careful! I once tried to return a guy's kidney for a touchdown. How'd that go? Uh, the ref gave me one point since I spiked it and split it the front row. First down in less than a year. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. <laughs> and it's first and ten. play that was bricks kind of like your aunt bertha this guy has some big ball the defense has to make something happen here with one time on left and that'll be second and eight to go oh sure now catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him. But no more timeouts for the defense. Or the offense, Bricks. That's, that's the important part. First down and five. And the QB might as well just bury himself next. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. Uh, oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does you see the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? Grim, can I kill him? If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. The Tyrants defeat their opposition and walk away triumphant. That was one hell of a slugfest. That was worth the price of admission, right, guys? Why pay for admission? I expect girls dancing on a pole or something. Girls, look at I want a lap dance. You don't even have a lap, you little freakazoid. Follow me. Let's see what the MVP has to say about today's outcome. <laughs> Blitz 
Retro with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.